Walking Dead Season 4 Episode 2 Title Infected. This episode I thought was really well done. Like, I enjoyed the season premiere, but I actually like this one a lot more. And not just because, you know, we got some people who died, but, you know, generally the best thing about the show is that, you know, after people die, you get to see, you know, some pretty amazing drama. And in this case, you know, there wasn't anyone who was a main character, just like in the last episode. But in this one, I thought it, it I mean, it obviously had a lot more impact because so many people died, so they were able to basically make some of the characters really important and one of the things they did that i really loved was they introduced the twins well they aren't twins but the sisters from the comic pretty much and in this they're all, they're very different because you know i won't spoil what happens you know in the comic but they're completely different and hopefully they do stay in this series you know at least through this season if they happen to you know end up dying because who knows but it would be interesting if, you know, they kept the kids on just because they'd have, you know, kids, more kid um, characters. But the sisters were really interesting. And, you know, the older sister, you know, she wanted to be strong and she wanted to basically be the one to kill her father, you know, before he actually turned. And then, you know, she freaks out and she couldn't do it. And it was like, okay, you know, it seemed like she, I thought she had asthma. She was just having, you know, a regular panic attack. And when her and her sister at the fence, you know, Carol comes up and, you know, it was really funny. Like, I, it, it didn't seem like you wouldn't expect that from Carol. And she's just like, you know, you're weak. You have to, you know, go with your instinct and you have to just, you know, you have to do what you have to do in order to survive, even if it's sad. And the sister, you know, she was crying, talking about, you know, the zombie that they named Nick. And her sister was just like, you know, you're so stupid. And I'm assuming she was talking to her sister and not Carol. But, you know, she, when she ran off, you know, her sister says she's messed up, you know, not weak. I thought that was a really interesting line from her. And it made it makes it seem like she has a lot more to give to the show as far as, you know, her character. But they kind of wrapped it up in a way that where it was fairly simple. You know, she she basically accepted the fact that, you know, she was just, just upset about her dad. And so, you know, she took the knife from Carol and put it in her pocket, basically symbolizing, you know, I understand I was weak. I'm going to make sure that I'm stronger from now on. And I was thinking it would be insane if she like just stabbed Carol because she was actually crazy. But I'm glad that didn't happen. But something else we got in this episode that was, I thought was really interesting, probably the most interesting thing to me, is the fact that Rick and Carl basically gave up their guns because, you know, Rick was going through, you know, all of his decisions and pretty much everything he, every decision he made, he felt like it was a horrible choice because, you know, it almost made him lose his son. And, you know, we see that he did basically, you know, he paid attention in the season finale. You know, when he found out that Carl killed that kid for no reason, he didn't just say, you know, no big deal or I'll wait and see what happens. He, you know, took that to heart. And he basically banned guns from him and his son. And that's why they were, you know, doing the farming and stuff. And that's why Carl, you know, wasn't wearing his hat. And it was interesting because, you know, when Michonne asked him, he said, you know, it's not a farming hat. So I thought, okay, in this episode, we'll see him with the hat because, you know, things are going to go crazy. And, you know, obviously that was before things happened. So I thought, you know, he'd grab his hat and shoot and stuff. But we see in this episode, you know, he's really respectful of Rick which we got you know in the first episode but in this one we really see it and he was kind of like freaking out when he used the gun it almost seemed like he was kind of scared of Rick just to say you know, like hey I did it to help Michonne it seemed like he was afraid to even say that because you know he was just really trying to follow you know Rick's lessons pretty much so like I really enjoyed that and you know of course at the end of the episode they kind of go back so it's pretty simple for us as viewers but obviously in this show you know it's been months so you know it's it's a lot different compared to what we see and you know how it actually is in the universe but i thought it was really well done and you know rick is going through dealing with the fact that you know his choices were bad so that's why he kind of almost banished himself when you think about it which is why you know him and carl were always up really early and they would be outside and it's just the two of them and so he kind of did that to, you know, himself and Carl because he felt that was the only way he could keep from making a horrible choice as far as, you know, his son pretty much going down the path of being a serial killer. But I thought it was really good. And, you know, he knew 
whatever was going on, he couldn't take the chance, you know, that it was probably the pigs or, you know, like you said, we could have infected the pigs or, or the pigs could have infected us. So he gets rid of all the pigs to basically save the fence because the zombies are just pushing on it. And I love the zombie that they had where he like pushes through the fence and it's just like shredding his face. I thought that I was like, that's gross, but I was smiling when I said it, but that was really good. And you know, they're just killing zombies on the fence and he sacrifices the pigs. And of course, when I watched that scene, I didn't think about the fact that, you know, the other pigs would be sick too. I was just like, why is he killing all the pigs off? And then they actually said, and I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense because the one pig did die. And of course, I thought they only had the one pig because it was like they just showed one pig and it's obviously the very next day. It seemed weird that, they, you know, they didn't show it all the other pigs unless I just completely missed that. But I thought it was really good. And, you know, they basically come back in the end, you know, he takes the gun out of the little toolbox and hands it to Carl. He puts his belt on. And, you know, they had in the preview, he has his gun back and stuff. So they're going to be back in full force. And it'll be interesting to see how that plays out this season because, you know, like I said, the time that we saw them, you know, kind of just the as the farmers has only really been, you know, two episodes. But it's been months like that where they've just been, you know, out on their own. Or not really out on their own, but just, you know, out farming and not attacking zombies or doing any of that stuff. So it'll be cool to see how the actors, you know, play that out and how it's just written for the show that they're kind of getting back into the game of actually, you know, killing the zombies. Um, something else we've got, you know, the virus is, you know, they've established the fact that it is a virus. Um, you know, some people died. Sadly, you know, Tyrese's girlfriend, she did die. And that really sucked. I was like, are they going to kill off, like, the one person you don't want to actually see die? who they've like the one person they've actually given lines to and then of course she does end up getting sick and she dies and you know like when she died you know they burned her body so in the preview you know he's really mad about that because obviously he was in love with her and you know that happened and he wasn't even there to be the one to do it so i'm definitely excited to see how that plays out as far as just an emotional scene because i think it'll be really good but you know they had people dying left and right and, you know, like I said, they introduced the sisters and something else they did in this episode that was really well done was Michonne, you know, when she comes back and she gets wounded, she's basically in the block. Um, I can't think of the girl's name, but, you know, it's her and the baby and Michonne. And when the baby starts crying, you know, Michonne, she kind of tears up a little and she asks, you know, does the baby always cry like that? And you know, as the scenes go on, it's obvious that the reason she was so upset with the baby was because, you know, she lost a child during, you know, the whole apocalypse. So I thought that was a really well done scene. And it kind of shows why she became, you know, sort of the stone cold Michonne, which would be a cool nickname. But it just kind of shows why she kind of ended up that way. It wasn't just the two zombies that she had with her. You know, she lost a baby. I would assume, unless she was just crying for no reason, which would be weird. But I would assume, you know, she lost a baby, so it has a real, you know, struggle. And it was just really well done. And, you know, um, the line, with, what do you call a person who lost a um, child? You know, they don't have names for people like that. And Michonne is one of those people. So it was just really cool how they kind of played that out and added a lot of depth, you know, to her character because they added a little bit, you know, in the first episode, just showing how she's a lot friendlier. And initially, that's what I thought the problem was, was she felt she was getting too friendly with everyone because, you know, she was like, they should have just left me to die and stuff like that. And I thought, okay, maybe she feels like she's getting too friendly with everyone, so she's going to try to just, like, flip it back and just be, you know, Stone Cold Michonne again. But it was because of the baby. So I thought that was really well done. And just everything else in the episode was just really good too you know the action as far as you know them killing zombies and stuff but I thought it was a really emotional episode and it was just really really good to me I, I enjoyed it a lot more than um, last week's episode even though I did enjoy that and you know probably you know a lot of it does have to do with the fact that it was the season premiere but that was a good episode too but this one I feel it added so much to the show just in one episode that you know it makes it a really good episode they added the girls they added you know michonne's 
you know, her emotional concept, you know, why she is the way she is, or at least, you know, partly why, and the fact that, you know, Rick and Carl were sort of separated from the group, and, you know, that's why Rick isn't on the council, which is similar to the comic, you know, he, the same thing, really, he felt like his decisions, because, you know, he was the leader, pretty much, so when people die, he feels like that's directly on him. But, you know, kind of like Daryl said, you know, you say you made bad decisions, but, you know, I kind of see you out here, when crap hits the fan, you're out here with a shovel. But, you know, Rick kind of separated himself and Carl, and so, you know, they're back into it, and we got the answer as to why they were like that. So that was really good, too. And I love the scene um, when he was getting rid of the pigs, like the very last one, and it kind he's, like, really close up to the camera, and then it just he just drives away. And, like, they change it after that, but I kind of wish they just went to commercial right there because I thought that was just a really good scene, how it looked, because the sound was completely gone at that point. And, you know, he's just got his head down, and they're just driving away from the camera. And I just thought that was a really good scene. But overall, I thought it was an amazing second episode. I'm really excited for episode three. I'm hoping, you know, it's going to be just as emotional. I don't see that happening because, you know, obviously there won't be a ton of deaths and stuff. Oh, and of course, I forgot like one of the biggest things. Uh, the beginning of the episode with the person um, in the middle of the night like feeding the rats to the zombies. Who knows what that is? I would assume it's the cannibals, which are from the comics. I haven't read that part, but you know, if you watch like anything with The Walking Dead, there will generally be comments about stuff in the future. So I would assume it's going to be like the crazy cannibals who end up trying to hunt the guys. At least that's what that's like literally the only thing I know. They're cannibals. So cannibals eat other people and you know, maybe they're trying to get them destroyed, but at the same time, this was someone inside the prison, so it's really hard to tell, you know, if it is that or, you know, it's obviously it's impossible to tell who it is really. But I'm really excited for that. I don't know if we'll get the answer to that next episode, and I hope we do, or at least, you know, even if it's a brand new person, we'll get to see the face, and we can put a face to the actions, so, you know, I'll be excited to see whatever that is, but comment below, let me know what you thought of this episode, favorite parts, least favorite parts, and thanks for watching.